Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today we're gonna to be talking about choosing the right wig colors for you. Okay, so before we dive into the whole topic of choosing wig colors for you, I wanted to mention that on my website, franniesHair.com, I just added a new blog post called Color Philosophy, and it talks about all those numbers you see when you look at colors of wigs and what they mean. And the blog post is put out by Ellen Villa, and it's all about their color philosophy, but the actual numbers of the colors are an industry standard. So just learning this information can help you across all brands. But then in this blog, Ellen Villa talks about their philosophy and how they actually color their wigs and why, and I've had comments about this, why sometimes when you choose the same color in Ellen Villa, it looks different on two different wigs. So it actually describes how they're choosing to use those colors on specific wigs to highlight, curl, or the straightness of the wig and things like that. It's a really interesting blog post. It's four short videos. I like videos better than reading. And it's the education manager of Ellen Villa that is teaching you all about their color philosophy. So check that out. And I'll also have a link to that in the description below so you can just click on that and go see it. All right, so let's get started. So when I wear this wig, this is the wig that I get the most questions about. And I think the reason for that is that it really complements my face shape style wise and the color that I'm wearing complements my skin tone. And today we're going to focus on color and skin tone, not style so much. So this is Sunset in Light Bernstein Rooted and you can see it's a golden blonde and it's a warmer tone. So as we go through figuring out your skin undertone, then I will show you samples of wigs, of clothing, of jewelry that would complement your skin undertone. So knowing your skin undertone can not only help you with wigs, but it can help you in getting dressed in the morning, accessorizing, putting on your makeup, all of that. It's a great thing to know. So first let's talk about skin tone versus skin undertone. Skin tone is really the surface skin and the tone of it, whether it's light, or medium or dark, and that can change with tanning and with the weather. Skin undertone is a color undertone to your skin that's beneath the surface and does not change. And that's really what we're gonna look at today. And I'm gonna help you figure out what your skin undertone is. We're gonna keep it simple and we're going to look at basically warm versus cool. So what do I mean by warm versus cool? Well, if you think about summer versus winter and the colors associated with those seasons, that will help you to distinguish between warm versus cool. So when I think of summer, which is warm, I think of the sun and the yellow and the orange and all of those really warm colors. When I think of winter, I think of icy, like white and blue and things of that nature, gray and silver. So those are the two basic categories. So now let's talk about how to figure out what our skin undertone is. I have a few methods for you and nothing's foolproof, of course, but I think this can help you to figure out your undertone. Now, the reason I'm filming here instead of in front of my wig station is because I'm standing in front of a window and you really wanna stand in front of a window and have a soft daylight shining on your skin when you're doing these tests. You don't want harsh sun, um, even a little bit overcast can be good. And I think actually this is pretty soft daylight that's coming in right now. Okay, so let's talk about the tests for trying to figure out what your skin undertone is. The first test in front of the window, take a look at your veins on the inside of your wrist. Now, if the veins appear to be more blue or purple, you're probably of a cooler skin tone. If they appear to be more green, you're probably of a warmer skin tone. The next test is to take a white towel or white piece of paper, and again, in front of the window, put it next to your neck and chest here. If your neck and chest appear to be more yellowy against the white like mine is, that would indicate a warmer skin tone. 
If it's more pinky, that would indicate a cooler skin tone. Now, when you're doing these tests, if you're like, I can't tell, <laughs> it looks a little of each. You may be neutral, in which case you're lucky. Probably everything looks good on you. Okay, and the third test I wanted to talk about is the jewelry test. Do you tend to choose more gold or silver because you think one looks better on you? That might be an indication. Now, you can also take something gold and something silver, again, in front of the window and put it against your neck or chest. And you can see here, definitely the gold is complementary with my skin tone versus the silver, which is not as complementary. Now, this doesn't mean you can't wear cooler undertones if you have a warmer undertone or vice versa. This is just a guideline to help you look your best. Figuring out your skin undertone can be helpful in many ways, not only in choosing the wig you're gonna wear, but in choosing your clothing, your makeup, and your jewelry. And I'm gonna show you a few pieces of clothing right now and show you the difference and how it looks against my warm undertone skin. And by the way, my nail polish is cool. I don't think it looks that great against my skin tone. I was in the mood for this light lavender color, so I wore it anyway but definitely warmer colors against my hands look better. All right, let me grab the clothes. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you a shirt with a cooler pattern, and I'm just gonna put it up against me here. So I would definitely wear this shirt, but it's definitely cooler against my skin versus, let me show you a warmer pattern. You can see there, and I think this is much more complimentary to my skin tone. Now, this is not to say you should never wear blue or purple if you're a warm skin tone, because for example, let's take a look at this shirt. This has blues and purples in it and golds, and it's a cream versus a white. White would be a cooler color also. And so this, even though it does have what would be considered some cooler colors, is a warmer shirt, and again, I think complements my skin tone. This shirt has reds and pinks and white. And you can see it's not as complimentary against my skin. It's a beautiful shirt. And again, I'll wear it, but I don't think it's as complimentary as if I choose a warmer red like that. And looking at some solid colors, here we have a blue. Again, I would totally wear this, but it is icier and cooler versus this warmer green, which I think complements me again better. So you can even do this with your own clothing, put it up against you and see if the warmer colors seem to be more complementary for you or the cooler colors. And that's the way to hone in on your skin undertone. Now let's talk wig. So like I said, this is a warmer, cause you see the yellow in it, a warmer color wig color. Now I'm gonna put on a cooler blonde for you and you can see the difference against my skin. This one is light Bernstein rooted in Ellen Villa and now I'm gonna put on champagne rooted. Okay, so this is taboo in Ellen Villa and this is in the color champagne rooted, which is clearly a cooler color. You can see almost the white and platinum in there, which is again, icier and cooler. And you can see it doesn't complement my skin tone as well as the light Bernstein rooted does. Now, does that mean I wouldn't wear this wig? Absolutely not. I would totally wear this wig. But what I would do is I would change up everything else to make a more cohesive, cooler picture. I would change up my makeup. I'm wearing very warm colored makeups right now. I'd change it up to maybe pinks and lavenders. I would change my jewelry from gold to silver. And my clothing, right now I'm wearing a warm cream versus a white, I would change that too. And put all together, that would make a more cohesive, cooler picture, even though I do have a warmer undertone skin. So when you're looking at your wig colors, even within categories, there are ashier brunettes and more golden brunettes. And the ashier, again, is gonna complement the cooler skin undertones, while the more golden, will complement the warmer skin undertones. And you can find that in every color range, even auburns, which in general are warm. There are cooler auburns and warmer auburns. So if you get a chance, I highly recommend checking out that latest blog post on my website where Ellen Villa talks about 
the numbers and what the numbers mean as far as colors go and how they actually mix those colors to get the look that they're going for in a particular wig. So I know I've had some people say to me, you know, Ellen Villa colors don't seem to be consistent. I got light Bernstein rooted in this wig and it doesn't look like light Bernstein rooted in that wig. What's up with that? Well, these videos will explain that to you because they actually take the mix of colors, which may be the same colors, but they highlight them differently on different wigs to show off the curl or the texture of the wig. And they're really going for a look. So while it may seem inconsistent when you're going by just the name, the more you know about the numbers and the colors they represent, the better you'll be able to choose a wig that will complement you and your skin undertone. Okay, so I'm gonna get back in my light Bernstein rooted so you can see again the difference in how it highlights my skin. Somehow when I have the color that complements my skin, I just think I feel more alive looking and more vibrant. And I think you'll find that that'll be true for you too. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below or send them to my email address at Franny's Hair at gmail.com. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And if you're shopping for wigs and you're having difficulty finding the right color and you want me to show you the color on the color ring, just email me again and I'm happy to send you pictures of colors and help you figure out what will work best for you. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.